All right, and Jordan, if you could take in a big deep breath for me, let it out and hold it. X-ray and breathe. Okay. Diagnostic imaging is kind of um, an umbrella of all the different imaging types that we use in order to, you know, obtain pictures to help a patient get a diagnosis. So when people come into the hospital or into a clinic, a lot of times the first thing that they think about is a doctor or a nurse. But doctors and nurses really uh, utilize us to make the diagnosis and then create a treatment plan based on what our images show. So diagnostic imaging includes things like general x-ray. So when you go into the ER and you've maybe had a fall or something and we're x-raying your ankle. But then it also leads to additional pathways like CAT scan, uh, MRI, uh, ultrasound is another pathway, mammography, um, lots of different sectors basically of imaging that physicians might use or providers might use to help figure out kind of what's going on with you as a patient. It's a two-year program. Uh, we're just a little shy, so the program's about 22 months. And the students spend their first nine months typically in our lab here. And then second year, they go out and they're actually taking x-rays on patients alongside other technologists in a clinic or a hospital setting. So they get that hands-on piece their second year, close to 40 hours a week. They're doing it full time so that they can kind of learn on the job, get that kind of independence and really, um, you know, see where they want to take uh, the field based on what their experience is, you know, working with patients. Historically, you'd work as an x-ray tech for a while, then you would kind of, you know, pay your dues a bit before you moved into one of those other, what we call advanced modalities or those pathways, um, but right now it's a much smoother transition because the need's so great. So often when we think about healthcare, we think about nursing and that's an amazing profession as well. Um, but people often overlook diagnostic imaging and when you're thinking about a career that you're gonna spend the next 35 or 40 years with, you wanna be able to move because the reality is sometimes we do get burnout and especially um, you know, when we're running short and the demand is really high, we're seeing more patients than ever. You want that flexibility to maybe spend some time in the cath lab for a little bit. And you know what, that's not serving my season in life. Maybe I wanna step out and learn MRI, right? As soon as you graduate from the program, you have that foundation to move into those different avenues. And so I think that that's a piece that gets you know overlooked, but is clearly an advantage if you're thinking about career options. And it's also a great return on your investment. I mean, wages are strong compared to what you're paying for tuition. And I think Sometimes that gets overlooked by students too, but is an important uh, question to ask.